So now we're going to work on trying to solve. So I have 4 sine of x times cosine of x equals 1. Now we want to again try to do the exact same thing. However, for this problem, I'm not no, I don't have any double angles, do I? Double angles or half angles or anything else that I could use this for. So a lot of times we say, well, to solve this, you know, we can use a zero product property. So I'll subtract 1 over here, and I say 4 sine of x cosine of x minus 1 equals 0. But now, I mean, what am I still going to try to do over here as far as trying to factor this so I can get this to apply zero product property? And it's kind of getting a little tough. I'm kind of at a standstill. I don't really know what else I can work with. However, the one important thing that we need to look at is remember we're talking about our new formulas, right? This half, um, this multiple, multiple angle for the sine. So if I can say that the sine of 2x equals 2 sine of x times cosine of x, right? This 2 sine of x cosine of x is equal to the sine of 2x. So what I notice is I have a sine of x times a cosine of x. So anytime I see a sine of x and cosine of x, I might want to think, oh, that's very close to exactly what my formula is. Now, instead of it being multiplied by 2, it's being multiplied by 4. So what I can do, though, is I can rewrite this as 2 times the sine of 2x equals 1. Would everybody agree with me on that? Because we know the sine of 2x is equal to 2 sine of x cosine of x. So if I just multiplied by that by 2, then I'd have the same formula. Now, why would I even want to do this? Well, if you guys look at going back from my original equation to now this equation, I now just have one single trigonometric function, right? So now that I have one single tri trigonometric function, I can solve for this, divide by 2, and I get sine of 2x equals 1 half. So now I can go and evaluate Hunter and say, when is the sine going to equal 1 half? Well, we have pi over 6 and 5 pi over 6. So if I wanted to find all the solutions, I could say 2x equals pi over 6 and 2x equals 5 pi over 6. Now, those are the two solutions on the interval of 0 and 2 pi. If I want to find all the solutions, I'm going to have to keep on adding 2 pi. So I'm going to add plus 2 pi n, plus 2 pi n. And then our last final step is to solve for x. So I'm going to divide by 2. So therefore, my final answer is x equals pi over 12 plus pi n, and x equals 5 pi over 12 plus pi n. So we can work one or two ways. We can either be given a multiple <laughs> angle and then apply a formula, or we can actually be given the formula and then rewrite it going backwards for, as a double angle and then solve. Okay, Because now you guys know how to solve for double angles, right? So if you have an equation and you see a multiple angle, you can now just uh, rewrite it so it is a multiple angle and then solve it as, with, as the multiple angle formula.